Hi everyone, Janie here, and today I'm going to share some altered safety pins that I made, and I'm also going to take you through the process of making one. But before I do that, I just want to let you know that they may not be what you're expecting because there are so many ways to alter safety pins, and it also depends on if you're going to keep it usable or if you're going to be using it in a craft project. So let's head on over and let me show you what I did. Oh wait, before I forget, I have a coupon code for you to BB Craft, and it is for $5 off a purchase of $40 or more, and it is Janie 5 and I will also have that down in the description box so that you don't miss it. These are the altered safety pins that I made to share with you, and as I said, they may not be what you expected, but there are so many things you can do with them, and these are just a few ideas that I'm going to share with you. So let's see, I'll start up here with this one. I had this really pretty brass butterfly and I splattered it with some pink paint and tied on some pink seam binding and a bow and um, I used E6000 to attach this and I'll be showing you how to do that a little bit later in the video. But this is just one. And this is another one of my favorites. So I glued on a piece of lace and I use Beacon Fabri-Tac to just glue it across the, um, the safety pin right there. And then also use Fabri-Tac to glue on this really pretty um, silky flower. And also to glue on the flat back pearls across the top. And again, E6000 for gluing on this pretty silver butterfly. And then I made some little charms to hang down the sides. Okay, for this one, I used a piece of burlap. Let me turn it around actually for you. So it was a piece of burlap and a piece of lace that I glued on. And then I glued on the butterfly and a little pearl in the middle of it. Let me get closer there for you. And this nice little shabby flower and a couple of keys. I love keys, so we've got keys dangling here. But I love that. This one is done on the, the brass safety pin. And if I haven't told you already, all of these safety pins came from BB Craft and they come in a set that has brass and silver and gold and just a variety. So you're not just getting one thing. It's just, it's a set of, I believe, I think it's 20 safety pins. So it's really awesome. Now, this is a fun one. I live in Montana, I live in the country. And so I cut up a piece of denim jeans and glued that on and cut out a couple of little pockets. Let me get close, got them all decorated up like they're real jeans pockets there and put a piece of um, lace trim across the bottom. But it is glued on with Fabri-Tac, same as I did the other fabric. And this horse head, is also glued on with the E6000. And then I made some charms hanging down the side with beads and um, see if I can get these to show here a little bit better in this picture, but little, little cowboy charms, you know, got a horse and saddle and boots and a hat. So that's kind of a fun one. So after sharing these with my daughter, um, she pointed out that I didn't make any of them that went, you know, up and down or that can be, um, you know, worn in different ways because she said that she likes to wear hers, you know, up and down or cattywampus and couldn't do that with these other ones that I made. And so I had had this one started 
and decided instead of gluing something up here on the top like I did with the others, I tied a bow and that bow can be taken off and changed anytime to match whatever you're wearing. And I thought that was really cute. And let's see, I've got this little bling trim that comes on a roll that I got at Michael's. And it's already adhesive backed, but I actually added some glue onto the safety pin and then put those on to make sure that it was a snug fit. And also, glued on a little bling right there at the end. So that's something nice and sparkly. And also this, which can be worn absolutely any direction. And that flower was actually, I don't know where I got it. I think somebody gifted it to me or it was attached to something somebody gave me, but it did not have this in the middle. This was just some bling that I had that I also added to the flower. So again, this is just adhered on that front piece. And I'm going to show you how to do that. These altered safety pins are not only great for hanging off from scarves and sweaters and jackets, but they're also cute to hang off purses. And this is just a small purse, but it doesn't matter what size. I think that they're just adorable. And if you want to learn how to make these cute little purses, I'll put a link below in the description box. Here's an example of using an altered safety pin in a craft project. My friend Marlene made this and she took a bunch of jewelry that had special meaning to her and she glued it all to this M for Marlene. And here is the safety pin she used up at the top and that represents her grandchildren. And as you can see, if you don't need the safety pin to be functional, you can slide beads and things onto the opening piece. Okay, I've got everything together here for us to make an altered safety pin. And I've already put together these little charms. And they're nice little dangly ones. And I did that by using these eye pins to put the beads on. And I've showed the eye pins before. They come in this wonderful little, little kit here that has every color that you could want. I mean, silver, gold, brass, copper, everything. It's really an awesome little kit. You'll have tons of eye pins and it comes in this little box to, to keep them all together. And so that's what I put the beads on. And then I connected the two different sets of charms right here in the middle. Let's see if I can get it really close for you to see. I connected those two using the smallest the smallest little um, jump ring that comes in this kit. I love this kit because we've got gold, we've got silver, and we have got every size, including these itsy bitsy little tiny ones. Let me see if I can get one out to show you here. I mean, we're talking so tiny, I almost couldn't work with it. Okay, here's some that are all connected together. Let me see if I could just show you one little tiny one there. They're like so tiny. Okay, so that's what I put them together with. And now I'm going to use the larger jump rings to attach each of these little dangly bead charms to the end of the safety pin. Now, in most of my other altered safety pins, I actually had it where the opening, which is always right there at the top, but had it where the opening is on this side. But I decided I'm gonna turn it around and have the opening be on this side <laughs> in case somebody wants it to go the other direction. But I'm actually gonna make this so it can be worn pretty much any direction somebody wants to. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to take a jump ring and we're going to, I'm grasping it, and the little opening is right up here at the top. And I'm going to twist with one one direction and one the other. So I'm not pulling them apart, but I'm actually twisting them 
creating that little kind of twisted opening there. And I will just hook it right through the end of the charm. And then I will hook it right through the end of the safety pin. And to put them back together again, the best way to do it is using these little flat nose pliers. And you just squeeze because you're squeezing them flat. We're not squeezing them. Let me see if I can get that to show. We're not squeezing them this way. We're squeezing it flat, the same direction that the that the jump ring goes. And by the way, if you want to know how to make these, I'll put a link below to um, the video I did before on on making these dangly charms. And that shows you how to, to create the little um, bead charms to hang off from there. Okay, so we've got that on there. And hopefully I have it on good because, well, because I can't do this and record at the same time because I'd have it too close to my face. Looks like I've got it on there good. So we've got one on and we're just gonna do this. You can put as many on here as you want. Okay, here we go. So again, I'm just gonna grab and twist. Get my next charm, put it on there and Put it on the end of the safety pin and squeeze those ends together again. Sorry about that. <laughs> Off camera because I keep pulling things closer to my eyes. I really am sorry about that. And twist. Putting on our last one here, slipping it through that hole. And let's see if I got it open wide enough. There we go. I'm gonna see if I get that close enough for you to see. Okay. And then I'm just squeezing it and it goes right back together again. Real easy. Okay, so there we have those dangling off the end. And now we'll get on to, whoops, I gotta turn it this way and make sure that I have it opening correctly. Okay, so I decided I had this um, old earring. This was actually an earring, not something I would wear. I picked it up at a secondhand store or a yard sale. I really don't remember, but I always like to pick up old jewelry to take apart and I took off the earring part off the back. And that's what I'm gonna use to put on this end. And it's really easy. You don't want to interfere with the safety pin part if you're going to be actually using this. If you're going to be using this for a craft project, it really doesn't matter. But if you're going to use it, make sure that you're not interfering with that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using E6000, which is an adhesive. And I'm just going to be putting it right along the top right along the top. So I don't want it to get down inside here or on the back, just right along the top here. And then I'm gonna put this on there and it is going to have to sit and dry for a while. So let me do that here really quick. Open this up. You know, I should actually have something underneath me besides this really pretty placemat. But here we go. So I'm just putting it right along the edge. Okay, and let me get the cap on that really quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and decide which way I want that end to go. I think I want it to go on the inside. And I'm just gonna sit that on there. So there's the back side. I'm just gonna sit it on there and we are gonna let that dry and when it's dry, we will have a really pretty safety pin that can either, you know, go this direction or this direction. And <laughs> the camera's facing down, which makes it really difficult for me to hold it up and let you see it dangle. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna show you one other thing. So here's what 
the safety pin looks like you know before you do anything to it and you just saw me glue that um, that little earring on the end you can glue you know like I glue butterflies flowers whatever you want but something really cool so you know we were talking about the um, dangly charms that that I made um, recently and had the video up for well I started thinking wouldn't it be really cool to have a collection of dangly charms and with whatever I'm wearing whatever matches I can just hang it right on the end like that wouldn't that be so cool? And you can just change it up anytime you want. You know, it's like, oh, this doesn't match what I'm wearing today. Let me hook on one that matches. I think that would just be an awesome idea. Thank you all for watching today. And I hope this inspired you to come up with some ideas of your own for altering safety pins. And don't forget, links are below to BB Craft and the products that I used, as well as that wonderful gift code. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.